Good morning from the banks of the River Loire. This is another Loire end to end. No, this is a. I'm going to get up and I'm just going to go out and see what I could do today just because I can. This is the beauty of doing this full time that I can, if the weather looks good and I've got a day when I can get out, well, I could just go. Now, I have to say that I did get up this morning and I thought, am I going to go out? And I thought, no, come on, just get up, get out there, go and do something, go and entertain them, as I know some of you want entertaining. So I've, I've come out to my local area. I'm just going to be going round. Nothing really on the agenda today. I'm looking up at the sky and thinking, what can I do? And I'm kind of thinking, do I go from here and go towards the woodland that I found the other day? And it's not that far from here, which is good. So I think I'm going to go and do that because I've got a shot here across the Loire of uh, a favourite place of mine to come to. If I, if you get this right, and this morning it's kind of started and then petered out with a whimper. Um, I got this much, much better a few weeks ago. Um, it's another sunken boat, really nice and sunken, this one in the Loire. And it just looks really nice. It's a nice place to come to as well. We're, again, the really odd thing is about what it is that I do here in France is that seeing other photographers is just non-existent. There's just nobody around. I do actually have the place to myself, which is kind of really nice. Although when I publish the book, I'm kind of guessing that's going to change. But yeah, it's a really nice shot across the Loire and it's looking really, really beautiful in some respects. Yeah, the, you know, there's no amazing fiery dawn but you know what so what sometimes you just got to get out just to just to get out let me turn around that gopro let me explain to you what it is i'm doing here on the banks of the loire so you can see for yourselves what i'm doing that's the shot that's i've got set up on my canon although you're looking at the gopro feed at the moment so you can see there you've got foreground interest you've got the boat you've got the bridge now I've put my 17mm tilt shift on, you might be thinking why, what on earth do you want to use a tilt shift on that for? I've got architecture, I've got a bridge, so I don't want those supports of the bridge leaning in, I don't want converging verticals. So it's pretty much framed as it is on my camera. So you've got basically a third of sky, if I can put my fingers in there somewhere, a third of a sky and then two thirds land. And then you've got the foreground interest, you've got the boat. So I've waited for those moments when cars aren't going across. So I avoid the light trails and yeah that's pretty much what it is I've done is drop shift on the front of my camera with the tilt shift that's pretty much it really there's not much else to say well the exposure so I've got uh, two stops and a third difference between the sky and the foreground it will be a very simple blend in Photoshop where you're just putting one layer above the other put on a layer mask grab it bang done get in there so that's shot number one. What am I doing next? Oh, I'm going to go after some woodland, I think. I don't know exactly what the weather's going to do today. And honestly, I'm not really bothered what it does. So you'll get a couple of different sequences. It'll probably be a shortish vlog, but hey, what else can you, what else can you ask for for free on the internet? Let's move on somewhere else. I've come to a place called saint epin which is the, on the very, very edge of the Loire Valley, the Val de Loire UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now, I know this vlog isn't specifically about the Loire Valley. I just thought, well, I'm just going to come here. It's not far from where I was. And I wasn't feeling that inspired to do some woodland. I went to find some woodland, but it just wasn't really what it is that I wanted to do. And also, it was on the very edge of a army firing range I just thought is this really the best place to go and I thought no let's just actually go somewhere else so I went somewhere else and I looked at it and I thought no it's again not really inspiring me and I have to feel inspired to sort of take something to get out of the car to stop to walk to go and get a picture and I just looked at it and thought no it's not working let's let's go somewhere else and this place has been on my to-do list for quite a long time now just because as I said I, I keep passing it on my journey south and I thought, I've got to get here. Really nice looking church. Old uh, fortified gates to come into what would have been the old city. And I just thought, I've got to just come and get this. So 
I'll show you what it is I'm doing. There's a couple of things that bother me. I'll explain what it is that's bothering me and see if I can show you on the back of my camera how I've worked out what it is that I'm doing and what's bothering me and why it is that to me that composition is so important and getting things right. And let's just talk about composition quickly. Something I find very uh, amusing, I would say, with some photographers out there, is they talk about going off and getting a particular composition. It's almost like it's becoming train spotting. And I think it shouldn't be like that. I think you just have to get out there and find your own things to do instead of just, people just, I don't think are being very creative sometimes. It's like, I haven't got this composition. I haven't got that composition. It's like, go and make your own. Go do your own. There's so much out there, certainly here in France, there's so much stuff that's undiscovered that people are just not seeing unless they're watching the vlogs that I do. It's getting a bit more of an idea from an English point of view as to what's over here. But anyway, let's, let's show you what it is that I'm doing with the scene that's behind the camera. And I might actually just leave it here today after this and actually then end the vlog with some processing to show, just to show you how I'd put it quickly, put it together. This is what I'm looking at at the moment. So you can see there's the church there or there. You've got this old part of a building just here. I'm using the lines coming in. I've got my 17 millimeter tilt shift on. Is it too wide? Possibly. Actually, let's just get hold of the camera. Let's just undo this and show you the problems that I've got. So if I just swing this round, you may or may not be able to see on the back of the camera. There's actually a car that's just there. And the old gate is just there. So I've got the gate in there. But ideally, what I want is a composition that's just sort of here. But I can't get it. So I'm having to actually remove the car and actually be quite tight on the gate. And I don't want that. So my composition was about there. Now, it's not too bad of a composition. But ideally, I want that car gone. Could I clone it out? I don't want to be messing about in Photoshop, trying to clone stuff out all the time. That defeats the purpose for me. And anyway, it's only like, what, 45 minutes from me or so, or less than that. And so it's not as though it's, you know, a long way away. The only thing I'd like really now is those leaves can stay on the tree for quite a long time. You can see they're still quite green, they're still quite yellow. I could come back here maybe in a couple of days' time and hopefully that car won't be there. But uh, that's the scene that I've got. What I've done exposure-wise, I've basically got a shot for the foreground and then I've got one that's a stop and a third less to capture the sky in full detail. You can see this is blowing out here. So this is going to be a bit of a blend. Might be a luminosity mask blend. Maybe, maybe not. Just because of the that horizon line is very choppy. And you've got the building on the side there and everything else. But we will see. But there you go. That's what it is I'm doing. What am I going to do from here? I don't know yet. If I find something, I'll show you. If not, then I'll end the vlog with some processing. I don't know yet. I'll see how it goes. I need to find my, my motivation again. I've come away from Saint-Epin and I'm on, stood over actually, the river Andre. So there is a Andre Valley and um, I didn't intend to come here at all and I just peered out the corner of my eye as I was crossing the bridge here and saw the mill. Now it's a little bit harsh light, I'll give you that, but I just thought actually I'd kind of like to just stop today just because although it's a really nice day, I'm not actually getting a lot of rest at the moment. I really kind of like to just take a little bit of time for myself just to stop and just go and do a couple of other different things. So I'm going to still obviously be doing my YouTube channel. That's, that's a given. And I'm still going to be doing what it is that I do. But I kind of just really miss traveling at the moment. Not traveling around France. I mean, yes, I'm getting to see things. I'm getting to meet people every so often. But that's really something I do miss at the moment is actually getting out there traveling as I was certainly last year and the year before really getting out there in the world and really seeing so many different places and I really miss being able to just get out there to different countries to different cultures different places meeting different people and just 
being out there because doing the job that I do, it can be quite uh, full of solitude at times, which at times I don't mind. I'm very used to working on my own. I'm very used to being on my own at times when I'm doing this job, but sometimes you kind of do need that sort of contact with people. And although I'm getting contact with lots of meetings I'm having with people at the moment, it's all online and it's very different to that physically being there with people. And I'm kind of really missing that, I guess. Today is just sort of, I started out with good intentions and I just, I guess, become maybe a little bit demotivated just because it's just not there today, which is just how it goes. This is the reality of the job at times. And sometimes you just kind of lose it for a day and you think, oh, I just can't be bothered. And today is one of those days. So could I show you other stuff? There's loads of stuff that I could do. But as I said, I kind of just need a little bit of time just to stop. So I'm going to go out again at the weekend somewhere, be a little more, bit more motivated. I might just say to hell with it, to hell with whatever it is that's going on at the moment over here. I just find somewhere a little bit further away look at some of the plans of the maps I'd place of places I plan to go to maybe just find somewhere a little bit further I'd love to just say to hell with it and go to the mountains I'd love to see some mountains I miss the mountains but uh yeah anyway until the next time somewhere sometime soon stay safe wherever you are and just you know hang in there we're getting there I saw some good news the other day today sorry so um yeah, until the next time, see you again soon, sometime, somewhere, in France.